Thank you so much for tuning back into Van News Live. After a snowy and breezy weekend, we were waking up this morning with some areas in those single digits. Now we had other some areas like Langdon waking up at three, but we also had areas like Cavalier waking up at nine. We had areas like Winter also at nine, but then we had a lot of areas in Minnesota still waking up in those 20s. But right now here in Fargo, we're still having some visibility issues with that fog sitting at 24 degrees with that wind chill sitting at 15 and those winds out of the south southeast at eight miles an hour in even up in Grand Forks, they have a little more visibility issues with that visibility at one mile. Still with that wind chill temperature of eight degrees with their air temperature at 20. Now, like I said, we're still having our regular air temperature in those teens and 20s. Langdon did get into those single digits not long ago, but just for a few moments. And even then with our wind chill temperatures, we're seeing a lot more single digits. Feels like nine in Detroit Lakes, feels like six in Jamestown. And once again, Langdon is the cold spot right now, feeling like negative five. Still with some clear skies and that's going to continue throughout the next couple hours and that is going to be the reason for our chilly temperatures tonight as those clouds act like a blanket and over the next couple hours we're still going to continue to see those cloudy skies remain for most of us and that's going to continue to be the story all throughout the overnight hours but then by tomorrow morning we're still going to have that chance for that morning fog for most of us however some areas are still going to, going to have those lower level clouds so it may act like fog but it also still might be those clouds and we're still going to have those winds out of the south, but then throughout the rest of your morning, those winds do continue to pick up with a few chances for some more flurries tomorrow morning, but throughout the day, we're going to see those winds switch to be from the northwest and that's going to continue to push those clouds out of the area, finally getting some sunshine for areas of northeastern North Dakota, still with a chance for some more snow flurries in areas of north central and northwestern Minnesota as that continues to push throughout because of those winds as well. Still giving us a little bit of some warmer temperatures throughout your day tomorrow, but not another breezier day. So any of that light snow on top of what we saw this weekend still has that chance to be blowing around with our peak temperatures tomorrow evening. Still in those low 30s and upper 20s. Still with that slight wind chill temperature once again as we head into the early hours of Tuesday morning and even for your hometown forecast, like I said, tomorrow afternoon and evening, we're going to be in those mid to upper 20s. Some areas in those low 30s still with that chance for those wind chill temperature so to be on the cooler side but take a look at this this is the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook now this is going to be right up until the few days before Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Now right here we are expecting above average temperatures for you folks who are hoping for a little bit of a white Christmas. Well, you got that this last weekend, but even then over the next seven days, we're still going to have our temperatures slowly increase a little bit by day to get to Thursday, which is when we have our next chance of our temperatures getting into those 40s on 42 on Thursday, but we're still going to have some breezier winds throughout the week and even into the weekend temperatures next weekend are still staying in those 30s. Still some cloudy skies giving us a little bit of some muggier conditions. However, Zoe, it's not going to be too bad. We're still going to start to see a little bit of a decrease in our temperatures in those 30s and 20s next week. But otherwise, and if you love the snow and I hope you enjoyed it this weekend, I did. But a lot of people are still having issues driving. Too. I didn't like the snow and I don't like how I drive in the snow, but there's 40s on Thursday for the other people. That's great, <laughs> but I didn't like the snow and I hope it stays away for right yes. now. And it looks like it's getting it better. That's good to hear. Thanks, Shelby. All right. Well